Hello, my name is Lightwolf and welcome to my second script for Space Engineers. In my last video I have shown you my new battery status script and today I will show you my new hydrogen and oxygen status script. How you get my script? There is a link to my Steam Workshop in the description. Just subscribe there and you are able to use it. And now let's see what I have created. The new script is very similar to the battery script, but well with some changes. To get it work, you need a programmable block, your hydrogen tanks, and the LCDs to show the information. Open your control panel, go to your programmable block and press on edit. Then press on workshop, search for my script and press OK. Now you see my script pasted. You can edit the script right here. But for a better view, I show you that in Node++. On top of the script you find the available settings. First the script needs to know which LCDs have to show the information. Therefore copy the name tag from LCD name tag. And paste it to all LCDs you want. You also can change the name tag if needed. The script also needs a keyword to separate oxygen from hydrogen tanks, so get sure that all of your hydrogen tanks have this string inside their name. After you're done changes, press always compile and save before you close the script. Now the script starts and shows the information. On top of the LCD you find the title hydrogen status. Below in the second line you see the amount of hydrogen tanks. So if I add one you see there's another one. In the second line on the right you see the amount of filled hydrogen in hectoliters or cubic meters. Below that you see the hydrogen tank symbol. Like the battery script, the symbols changing their design depending on their state. If the tank is online, the symbol appears in grey. But put it to offline, it will change to red. The level bar shows the filling state of each tank. At the moment it shows that our tank is empty. But now let's see how the level is rising. After I put on the oxygen generators, the hydro tank starts to fill up. If it's totally full, the last bar appears green. Same if we make the tank empty again. It shows always clearly how many capacity we have left. Also if you put the tank on stockpile, the symbol changes to orange. And if it's totally full, there also appears an orange arrow inside. When a tank is broken and not functional, the symbol changes to red with an X inside. Also you can show up to 50 tanks on standard LCDs. And up to 100 tanks on white LCDs. 
For that, change the settings on white LCD into true. If you want to show only specific hydro tanks, change only tanks with name tag into true and copy the specific name tag to all of your hydro tanks you want to show the status. Depending on the amount of displayed tanks, the script changes the size of the symbols. If you want to show always small signs, change only small signs enabled into true. Below that you find the self-updating system. If you don't want that, then change this to false. Under self up sys per second, you can change the time in seconds the script will be updated. At other settings, you can disable the title. You can disable each of the displayed lines. the displayed amount of all attached tanks, the total amount of all stored capacity, and you can choose if you want to show always the units in cubic meters. So that's all for the hydrogen status script, but in the beginning I talked about an hydrogen and an oxygen script. So what, we have to download another script for that? No, you can use the same script to show also the oxygen status. Let's show how that works. To change the mode to oxygen status, all you have to do is go again to your program ever block. And change search hydro into false. Now the script search only for oxygen tanks attached to the grid. If you want to show only specific oxygen tanks, quite the same like for hydrogen tanks, then you have to change only tanks with name tag into true and copy the name tag from a specific name tag into all of your oxygen tanks you want to show. Again, change the name tag if you want. The rest of the settings are similar to the hydrogen settings and work the same way. So now we know how to show only hydrogen tanks or only oxygen tanks. But what if we want to show the two modes together on one LCD, so oxygen and hydrogen together. Then go to auto change interval and for example change the number into 1. This number stands for the times the script switch between the modes. So when our self updating system is set to update every second, and the auto change interval is on 1, the script switch every time the script will be activated from hydrogen to oxygen. If we set the self updating system into 2 and the auto change interval into 4, the script will be updated every 2 seconds, but the mode switches only every 4th time, so this is every 8 seconds. There's also an option to show only specific hydro tanks and specific oxygen tanks. For that, again, change only tags with name tag into true. Then copy the specific name tag into all of your hydro tanks you want. And copy the separate specific name tag to all of your oxygen tanks you want. 
The rest of the setting stands now for hydrogen and oxygen together. But let's say we want two LCDs, one to show hydrogen status and one to show oxygen status. Then go to show on separate LCD and change it into true. Put the LCD name tag to all of your LCDs for hydrogen status. And below you find the separate LCD name tag. Put that name tag to all of your LCDs for oxygen status. Now the script shows all two modes together. And we are done. I hope you enjoyed my video and you have fun with my script. Don't forget to subscribe for more scripts and projects in the future. Thanks for watching and see you soon.